What's going on guys? Uh, we had a question come through on one of our videos where we were repairing a dent in an orange Honda motorcycle tank. And the question was, wouldn't magnet dent removal be more effective in this situation? So we're gonna do the best we can to answer that question. Uh, we only really have two uh, products, really only one, that would fall under the category of magnet dent removal. So I'm gonna show you what those are. So what we have here are two devices called hot boxes. The one on the right is an aluminum hot box. It only works on aluminum. The one on the left, which is uh, pictured here, is a steel hot box. It only works on steel. It uses heat induction and magnetic technology to heat the panel and pull the metal at the same time. We're gonna demonstrate that on this fender. You can see that dent in view. And every time I pulse the little red button, it heats up and magnetically pulls the metal. You can successfully fix a dent this way, but it is slower than trying to fix a dent from pushing it from the backside with a tool. These devices will not work in every circumstance. As you can tell right here, the dent is actually gonna get larger when I use it, and that's because of an obstruction or brace on the backside of the panel, causing the metal to go the opposite direction. And if I keep it on there too long, it'll get so hot that it will actually fry and burn the paint. So there is a little bit of a risk using these devices. Put it on, nothing. I can let it sit there all day. All okay. right. So as you can tell, the head on the aluminum hot box is considerably larger when compared to the steel one. I mean, you can see how big it is compared to my hand. It's a pretty chunky thing. So as we demonstrate this aluminum hot box working on this fender, uh, to answer the question about the motorcycle tank. Uh, on a tank like that, when we have access to the backside, it's just quicker and safer to repair it that way versus using something like this. Also, steel hot boxes are not going to pull thick metal like a gas tank. So it just wouldn't have been a good fit for that type of repair. And uh, that pretty much answers that question. And this last little clip is me melting the paint with the aluminum hot box just to show that it will do the same thing if uh, you hold it on there too long. So hope that helps.